All right, so over this video, I'm going to be walking you through everything you need to know about Llama 3. We will be walking through the features that were added in the Llama 3 model itself. I'm going to go and show you how to install this and run it locally for free using Ulama. And I'm also going to help you build something like this, which is a way for you to connect Llama 3 with your Visual Studio code and build like a assistant of sorts similar to Copilot. So if you code, you probably know what I'm talking about. It, which can basically auto generate code and give you suggestions right in the browser. So let's get started. First, let's talk about Llama 3 and it's a very interesting release. It has two versions or variants per se, 8 billion and 70 billion parameter. And it's already integrated into Meta's own AI platform, which is Meta.ai. And it's apparently only available in select few countries. So the first thing is coding and the second one is the math side of the story itself. Both of these are the problems that are initially hard for the models like GPT-4, Claw 2 and so on and so forth. But it seems Llama 3 is getting there and the great part about solving math questions well is that it can also help you reach AGI faster. Primarily because solving math means in one way or the other that the model can now reason. So if it can reason, it means that it can think like a human. And if it can think like a human, that's technically a beginning of AGI in general. So like I said, it can generate in the meta.ai, but you can also run it locally if you don't have access to the platform yet. This is almost like a competitor to Chat because it can not only generate content and you can chat with the, the model itself and Llama 3 is powering the platform right now, but you can also do image generation, which again, in one way or the other is like a very strong competition to chat GPT, Claude 3 and a bunch of different models. This is the first platform by Meta that allows you to kind of talk to the models like this. The platform is not even the interesting part. The interesting part is the benchmark. So I'm going to get to the enhanced performance in a little bit. But let's talk about the benchmarks for some time now. If we look at the left side here, like I mentioned that it has two variants, the 8 billion and the 70 billion parameter. The 8 billion parameter model beats models like Gemma and Mistral, which were previously one of the top open source models. I can't say for Gemma for sure, but Mistral has been one of the very good open source model. And the fact that Llama 3 beats it by such a huge margin. So if you look at MMLU, which is again reasoning, it, it scores 68.4. While the other models are not even in the 60s, which is a huge difference when it comes to the benchmark. For GPQ, it scores 34.5. Human evaluation, it scores 62.2. GSM or grade school math, it scores 79.6, which is crazy because the previous models scored around 30.6 and 39.9. So it's almost double as good as these two models. Finally, the, the results are also evident in the math side of the story. So you can see it scores 30 versus Gemma and Mistral that scored 12.2 and 11. So this is a huge improvement and we're going to be testing it out across these two things as well. Both the code writing and the math side of the story. Like I said, a lot of models are not able to figure out how to solve math questions. That's primarily because the models are just looking at their data set and giving you answers. However, math questions can get creative and require you to think very deeply, which the current models can't do. And the fact that Llama 3 can do it hints like a great direction to be when it comes to AGI. If you look at the right side here, these are the benchmarks for the bigger model, the 70 billion parameter model. And if you look at the MMLU here, it's better than both Gemini 1.5 Pro and Claude 3 Sonnet, not Opus, but Sonnet. Gemini 1.5 Pro, by the way, is like the premium model by Google. And Claude 3 Sonnet is like the second best model of, it's not compared it with GPT-4, but Gemini and GPT-4 are almost in the similar line at this point of time. If you look at GPQA, which is again math, I believe, it scores almost as good as Gemini 1.5 Pro. Again, on the human evaluation side, is it's like the best model. And note that both of these are not open source model. Both of these are closed source models, which makes Meta's Llama 3 even more impressive because Meta at this point is not worrying about making money off of, the, off of their models, which both Gemini and Claude are desperately looking to do. Rather, it's open sourcing all of the research and training that it's doing on the model itself. Again, on the math side, it does very good on the grade school math. It scores around 3, which is better than both Gemini and Claude. And then it's almost as good as Gemini 1.5 Pro when it comes to pure math, which is 58.5. Now note that Gemini 1.5 has been historically known to be good at code and math. For the, so the fact that it's almost as good, it's, it's very impressive. So let's go ahead and look through the other details as well. If you look at this enhanced performance, so a lot of the open source models that get launched don't keep performance in mind because performance takes a huge team to fine tune the model, to fine tune the parameters. But now that you know Meta already has a huge team of AI developers, they've also kept in mind the performance in place. So if you look at a lot of models that are released like GPT-4 and 
flawed all of these are like big companies and are funded very well but they still in some way or the other are startups the only huge company that is now doing well in gen ai and is also releasing open source model is meta at this point of time and it's releasing state of the art model even twitter or x they're releasing models for sure but they are releasing models that are older versions of the models they're not giving us the best models that are available today which is what meta is doing and which is why i'm kind of impressed by their commitment to open source a lot of the sources also state that they are willing to open source agi once they get there now how safe is that i'm not sure but at least they are committed to building whatever they build more transparently than other companies are doing at this point of time so let's look at the installation part of the story now we're going to be using olama to run the model itself if you've not watched my previous videos firstly i'd request you to subscribe to the channel if you're new if you've already watched my previous videos then you know what, what i'm doing here right so i'm using olama this is a great framework to download models and run them locally so i'm going to be downloading this by clicking here and then you can choose whichever os you have so there was a windows preview i think is it now full-fledged available or is this still a preview it's still preview but you can anyways go ahead and download this once you download it you can go ahead and install it and then once everything is successful you should be able to see something like this one second so you, on the top you'll see olama icon which means that everything is now set up and you're good to go so next what you need to do is open your terminal by doing by opening the search bar and typing cmd or in windows cmd in mac you should type terminal which should open something like this and you will have to run the command you can see i'm already running the command and if you type olama then you will see a bunch of commands that are available for me to run at this point of time then you will see a bunch of the commands that i have available at this point of time so there is the start olama um, create and so on and so forth what we need to do is we need to run the model and the great part about the platform or the product is that these people are keeping this very up to date every time a new model comes out you will already be able to find which is a great thing go to models it should be available on the top because it was recently added and it also has other open source models like wizard and mistral Gemma, and so on and so forth we will click on llama 3 here which is something what we want and then you have a bunch of different options you have the 7 billion parameter which is 40 gb and then you have the 8 billion parameter which is 4.7 gb so we're going to be using this one because i don't want to use up my entire space to run a very heavy model when i don't need it at this point of time obviously if you're a corporate and a big company you should go ahead and try this one out because it will help you test all the use cases that you have in mind and the model is trained on 70 billion parameters which is huge so decide what your use cases and then go ahead and choose the model that you want at this point of time so i'm going to be choosing 8 billion and then you will see the command changes here once you decide just click on copy the command go back to terminal if you're on mac and go back to windows i mean go back to cmd if you're on windows then punch in the command here and run it just ensure that you restart your pc once after you install it because sometimes it will require you to do so because it's a new thing that's running constantly in background ensure that you restart once and once you restart your you run your and you run the command you should be able to see something like this which is basically a ui telling you that it's now downloading and installing the model that we next what we'll do is we'll go to visual studio code and then we will start building the extension itself so visual studio code is like an environment where you can write code to run things right so for example uh, let's say we want to write snake game code then you will just type the command here and then the, you have an option to run the code, um, by running in the terminal here so again i'm what you need to do by going here is that you go to the extensions tab here after you install it and you can install it by going to visual studio code download you can see i've shown this previously in my tutorial go to code.visualstudio.com and then download it for your configuration i have max of downloaded for mac once you do that you should be able to see something like this and then go to extensions here and look for continued because i found this one to be better than the one that was recommended in the twitter feed which was code gpt and it seems like you need to log in and do a bunch of different things in order to make it work rather go to continue and then you will have an install option like this so go ahead and click install for continue once you install it it seems that this is already running now you can see it's available here so again it has a bunch of different instructions with respect to what you also want so for now just install it and wait for the model to download which is what we are doing here so it should already be done in like one minute or so once this is done i'll show you so basically once you install this you will be able to find something here so this is the continue window and then you have the option to set something up so we will run this completely locally and then you can see it 
gives you uh, the auto complete features on Olama. So basically when after the model is installed, it's almost like we're running constant server in our backend, which can help us complete the queries. And by the way, if you don't know what GitHub Copilot is, I'm just going to show you right now. So GitHub Copilot can help you do things like this. So let me just save this file. I'm going to call it sample dot, which will make it a Python file. I'm going to say import by him. And then what GitHub Copilot can do is that it can give you suggestions like you see here. When you press tab, it will import the suggestion. You can also this is, see the small icon here running in the bottom right, which basically shows that GitHub Copilot is ready and it costs you around $99 for an year. So I bought it because I wanted to write code. But at this point of time, um, I use Clock 3 more for writing code than using GitHub Copilot. But now what I'm going to be trying is I'm going to be setting up code GPT. Um, we don't need code GPT. We need continue. So we will drag this here, which is something you've seen preview, right? Yeah, let me just set this up and you can see the model is by the way downloaded. So at this point, we are ready to talk to the model. So you can say hi. And then you can see this is Llama 3 running locally in your computer. So you can now start doing whatever you want. You can tell it to write code um, or you can tell it to generate code for you. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting this up in my Visual Studio code or like a replacement to GitHub Copilot so so that I can run code directly here. If I'm not able to figure this out just yet, then I'll go ahead and you know generate and then paste it here. But you can see it, it seems that it's giving us some preview with respect to how to set this up. Highlight the function below. So okay, I've selected this and then it says command L to select code and command I to edit. Okay, so there's a pop-up here. Use the keyboard shortcut command L to select the code and continue and toggle the continue input box. Okay, so this is like where you will put suggestions. What is this? So this is, uh, so basically this is how you would run the code here and now it's using Llama 3 to generate the output. You can see this is generated by Llama 3. I, I'm not using any GPT model or any Claude model. This is done completely using. Let's try it out for the other command here. So it says command I and then it gives me option to use the keyboard shortcut command I to edit. Type edit your request, your edit request. Okay. Update to take two values. Oh, so it updated the code right here and then it gives you an option to reject or accept the change. So let's say we accept all and then now the code is configured to accept two values so you can see there's x and there's y very interesting then there's one more okay there's also an option to run the code run this python file it should error automate use the keyboard shortcut command shift r to automatically deep okay let's run it so you run it by clicking the play button here and you can see there's an error so what it has told us to do is do command shift and r it seems nothing happened oh this it's automatically typing here so very interesting right and then it's giving us description with respect to what the error is and how to fix it so very interesting now we are literally running llama 3 locally and without the need for github copilot so i probably don't need to renew the subscription because if it's able to do half as good as what github copilot does because it sucks right now i'm not able to use it then i'm more than happy to use uh, llama locally at all points of time in fact i might even download the advanced version of llama so anyways and now when you're here, it shows you to do command I to generate code. And we're going to be telling Llama 3 to generate Python code for snake game in terminal. So it should take some time to generate it. But note that it's running locally and it's not going to cost you any money. Let me see if I can show you the logs. Uh, there should be a way to log everything that's going on in the backend. So let's say Olama create. I did run it, you know, some time back, but I'm not able to figure out what the code is right now. Let's Llama surf. Okay, it says the bind address is already in use maybe because of this i'm gonna say buy to exit the chat and olama sir so you can see the snake game is generated let's try and run it so you can click the play or play button here and then you can see it's running in the terminal and this is one of the best snake games i've seen in the terminal because you know i generated snake games using llama 2 and a bunch of different models but none of the models were able to do really well on this so the fact that it can do well it's already very impressive and i'm very confident about using this if you use github copilot by the way it will not be able to generate a snake game for you like this and it really feels that we've reached a point you have complete control over the models that you're running locally because at the day all of this is your data it's our data on the internet right that the companies have scraped and have created content on top of or models on top of so we finally seem to have some control on the data that we have again it's not like full control but still at least open source models give you some control back as opposed to the closed source models that we have in the market today anyway so let's modify this to run in pi game so let's say modify this to work in pi game so it's generating the content now now you can directly copy this and paste it here or you can remove this and 
generate it from scratch so in my scenario i'm just going to copy this I'm going to be pasting it again it's like it's like it has like a nice ui to copy and paste the code which is great and you can see i'll need to install pygame for it so i'm going to install pygame to solve this dependency issue you can do pip install pygame which will install this across your computer again this is not recommended i'm just showing it for demo purposes um and then it will not hopefully show the error still showing the error let me see if i have the correct interpreter selected hmm, still showing me the error let me see if i can run it and it works yeah it's working so again error was kind of a fraud but you can see the game itself looks good not able to get the bait here for some reason yeah so there's a bug that i'm not able to grab the bait but it works with keyboard controls right which is something that i wanted the model to do in the first place now one of the things that llama can also do really really well is that it can do math questions and i am obviously not a math expert so i'm going to be looking up something on wolf and see if i can feed it to the model and see if the model can solve it for me when you exit this by doing command Q which will kill the terminal so I'm going to be taking this question from Wolfram Alpha and I'm going to be feeding it to the model again this is a basic arithmetic question we'll want to solve what the value of x is going to be feeding it to the model and I'm going to be checking if it's able to generate the answer for us go back to terminal and do olama run llama 3 and this should be able to open the llama 3 chat for us and here i'm going to be saying solve for x then you paste the equation that we copied from wolfram and then it's now started to solve the problem so you can see let's start by factoring the left hand side which is exactly how you would approach solving the problem and then it's reached a point so our final solutions are x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 4 there is no direct answer here but it says the real solution is x is equal to 4 and then the complex solution is different here let's ask a follow-up question so let's say sum of roots which is sum of roots is minus 4 but in here it says sum of roots is 4 let's say product of roots this should be positive because uh, it still says minus 24 hmm. maybe it's missing something here again like i said i'm not like a math guru but wolfram should be able to validate if the answer is correct or not and in this scenario seems like it may have not been correct so let's try this one i'm going to be saying the exact same thing that from alpha says so it says simplify an expression i'm gonna say simply an expression i'm gonna paste the thing here but the fact that it can logically already approach the problem is mind-blowing to be honest a lot of the models today are not able to do this by the way so, so so i'm really impressed by this and you can see it gave us the solution which is in line with what we see here so one divided by one plus root one by root two is the input i believe and then it at some point it reaches one as the nice simplified expression again not something that i was looking for but let's say give me the alternate form again these are all arithmetic question algebra question by the way and require reasoning to be in place in order to solve it so i don't think it's still exactly there 100 percent but it's way better than the other models that are available let's try this one which basically says solve an ordinary differential equation solve an ordinary and then let's paste this it's logically writing the content down which means that it's understanding what it needs to do with the solution and i know that some of the answers that it's getting is not correct but the fact that it can logically approach the problem is what is impressive so it gave me a solution here which is y x is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin into sin x which seems seems the solution here so again it got it correct so really impressive let's also try if it can generate things like blogs long blogs and so on so let's say 3000 word blog on the future of a and humanity again because it's running locally it should not be able to you know see problems when it comes to generating long content so let's say if we tell it to generate the blog is it able to do it again my only goal was that have an outline in place before you start generating and it seems it started with the intro Production here and then it's now generating the content as we speak so again in line with what you would see uh, for a lot of other open source models as well. but I honestly feel that this is the model that is going to do it when it comes to code especially running things locally and even for the math problems so it has been education as well and now you know how to run it locally and you also know how you can install Visual Studio plugin where you can also use this as a co-pilot for your code per se so really impressed by this I'm actually going to be using it for my own projects and I'm going to be telling you how it feels if it's at a point where it's ready to be like like a co-pilot replacement i am 100 certain it is because i tried some of the queries that i tried with llama 3 on copilot as well it didn't do a great job but this can kill it
right and i'm really impressed by it so yeah and i think that's going to be it for the video or lecture per se and if you guys have any questions let me know thank you so much and have a good one